Even while many Apple fans may still be learning new tricks and tips concerning their iPhone 12, rumors abound about the Apple iPhone 13 series that is months away from becoming a reality. Word has it that there are some major changes that can be expected, including an all-new design, a much better supersized camera, a huge battery to power a more efficient 5G modem, and other two massive upgrades. Analysts have now revealed that Apple is planning to double the storage capacity of the higher range model of the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro max to one terabyte. There's also a possibility of a LiDAR sensor on the entire range, including the cheaper iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini, which would also include portrait video mode. Today, we can give you a clear picture of what to expect about the iPhone 13. Design the iPhone 12 saw several changes to the design of the iPhone, inspired by iPhone 4 and 5. Nothing else seems to be on the anvil, although serial leaker John Prosser, who claims he has design information, suggests there may be. A new diagonal camera layout and the build might be thicker than usual. This is to accommodate the larger battery being planned for the device. In a CAD rendering revealed by Prosser, there's a smaller notch on the device. There are some rumors suggesting that Apple will do away with ports altogether. The earpiece speaker too will not be found in the notch but in the top bezel instead. One major leak is that the Touch ID may make a comeback as a result of the pandemic because facial recognition is useless when wearing a mask. This means that the iPhone 13 may become the first iPhone to feature dual forms of identification, which according to rumors, will feature the under-display fingerprint scanner. This time around, Apple may release the iPhone 13 in a variety of colors, including matte black, which is a shade darker than other graphite-colored iPhones in the current iPhone collection. For those interested in a softer, more feminine shade, the iPhone will also come in a new rose pink. iPhone 13 Display the display size of the iPhone 13 will be more or less the same as the iPhone 12, although it may be thicker than its predecessor. The iPhone 13 Pro will be 6.1 inches and the iPhone 13 Pro Max will be 6.7 inches. Both are expected to come with a 120Hz refresh rate to allow for smoother scrolling and improved gameplay and video playback. Tech geeks believe that the iPhone 13 may also feature an LTPO panel that could be made by Samsung. This would be an interesting development because Samsung would be supplying circuit boards to Apple to connect the display to the phone's motherboard. An LTPO screen would enable a super smooth refresh rate and maintain the sleek frame of the previous iPhone model. The new LTPO panels are also expected to reduce power consumption by between 15% and 20%. Moreover, the iPhone 13 display may now have a feature that Android phones have had for some time, an always-on display. This is another potential benefit of using LTPO technology. iPhone 13 Specs there's a huge possibility for a chip upgrade for the new iPhone, which may feature the A15 Bionic, an improved, more powerful version of the A14 Bionic that is in the iPhone 12. The new system, called SoC or System on a Chip, will definitely improve overall performance and efficiency. Where storage is concerned, the iPhone 13 will offer a range of options from 64GB to 512GB, although another leak suggests that the iPhone 13 might even feature a 1TB storage option. If that's true, it would be the most internal storage of any iPhone to date. Wireless connectivity is also expected to be boosted in the new iPhone, and Apple plans to use Qualcomm's X60 5G modem in upcoming iPhones, which will likely include the iPhone 13. Apple's built-in modem is only expected to appear in 2023, so we may have to wait for the iPhone 15 for that. Qualcomm's 5nm X60 modem will be integrated directly into the iPhone 13's chipset, which should decrease battery strain and give the iPhone a similar carbon footprint. Moreover, this is also expected expected to improve the 5G performance because of the modem's capability to connect to MMWave and sub-6 GHz 5G network simultaneously. According to one leak, the iPhone may come with Wi-Fi 6E. If this is the case, then gamers and web users will no doubt be pleased with the upgrade in speed. iPhone 13 Cameras Perhaps one of the main features that everyone eagerly looks forward to in any smartphone upgrade is the new camera. Until now, Apple has never disappointed, and with iPhone 13, it looks like there will be some new features on offer. Leaks have shown that the iPhone 13 will have a diagonal camera layout. With the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max, you can expect a new f1.8 six-element ultra-wide lens with autofocus capability. This is in contrast to the current f2.4 five-element lens on the current iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. More elements 
elements in the lens means better image quality. According to a DigiTimes report, Apple will increase its order of voice control motors, or VCM, by 40%, which will help improve camera focus. A huge leak where the cameras are concerned revealed a dummy model of the iPhone 13 Pro Max with bigger lenses. This means the iPhone 13 camera will function better in low light settings because larger lenses means more light going into the camera. Analysts at Barclays have suggested that the iPhone 13 Pro could get the same telephoto snapper as the iPhone 12 Pro Max, allowing for 2.5 times optical zoom, up from 2 times from its predecessor. Other sources say that all iPhone 13 models will also get sensor shifts OIS, or optical image stabilization, which would be an upgrade for all models, except the current Pro Max, which already has it. Other leaks and upgrades According to Bloomberg, the iPhone 13 may not feature reverse wireless charging, which means you can't charge devices like AirPods and Apple Watch. While this might be disappointing news to some, there are definitely good things happening in the iPhone 13, like upgrading to zooming, where the cameras will feature better night sky shooting capacity and improved portrait mode videos. The iPhone 13 Pro Max also stands to gain, with a larger battery from 3687mAh to 4352mAh, which is an 18 percent increase. Performance, of course, is expected to be improved in the iPhone 13. There are rumors of a vapor chamber cooling system in the works, although many feel that feature won't be ready till the iPhone 14 debuts. There is nothing much being said about the price at this point, although the pricing pattern will likely be similar to the iPhone 12 series. Apple launched the iPhone 12 in October, so the iPhone 13 may be ready to launch around September of 2021. We hope we got it all covered, and while you're eagerly thinking of getting an iPhone 13, don't forget to click on the notification bell and subscribe to Tech Division.